Hello, my name is Matt Rolle. I am a director, head of collateral optimization trading in Lloyds Banking Group. I'm going to discuss the top five developments in clearing and margining of OTC derivatives. Number one, mandatory clearing. EMIR regulation will introduce mandatory clearing for interest rate swaps for financial counterparties and large corporates. While uh, clearing is uh, standard in the interbank market, it definitely is going to be a big game changer for smaller financial counterparties like insurance, pension funds, and especially for corporates. Number two, bilateral variation margin. A mere bilateral margin regulation will introduce a variation margin with a daily margin in low MTA and zero threshold. This will have pricing impact from a bank point of view. And for the smallest financial counterparties and for corporates, there will be operational issues. Number three, bilateral initial margin. A mere bilateral margin regulation will introduce initial margin on the bilateral side. In the banking world, we are used to cope with the initial margin in the context of CCP. On the bilateral side, we will need to set up custodian to cope from an operational point of view, and we will need to adjust accordingly our pricing. Number four, KVA. KVA, Capital Valuation Adjustment. All the changes in collateral initial margin, variation margin, have an impact on our WA consumption and on our leverage usage. We will need to price these every time we execute a trade with a counterparty. Number five, MVA. MVA, margin valuation adjustment. Initial margin on the bilateral side and in the CCP will require banks to fund extra collateral. We will need to model the cost of funding this extra collateral for the lifetime of the trades, and we will need to charge it back to the counterparty. Those were my top five. Thanks for listening, and you can find more information at globalderivativeslive.com. I will see you at the Global Derivative Conference in May. Thank you.